So here we are in Hokkaido, and it's cold. Why did I travel all the way from Tokyo to Sapporo today? For this, the Snow Festival. It takes place annually in February, since 1950 attracting two to three million visitors. I traveled from Tokyo to Sapporo for 9,000 yen on Skymark Airlines, one of Japan's budget carriers. The view was spectacular. Sapporo is located in Hokkaido, in Japan's north. It's famous for its pristine nature and fresh foods. Sapporo is the biggest city. The snow festival's main venue is Odori Park, where I am right now. So what exactly is a snow festival? You're about to find out. It involves a lot of snow. Truckloads of snow are shipped into the park, heaped up and outlined before being carved. In 1955, the Japanese Self-Defense Force started helping with the festival a tradition that continues today. The sculptures are built by local volunteers. There's also a citizen sculpture area with some very unique designs. There are usually four to five main gigantic snow sculptures. There's a lot to do and see here during the week-long festival. And there's also a lot to eat. I hope you're hungry. Sapporo Festival Food Paradise. Hokkaido crab is everywhere. The seafood is fresh. Ramen too. This one has it all. That's some amazing ramen. At the snow festival, you can try it all at a reasonable price. First, let's try this. Do you know what it is? It's uni, usually eaten raw, but this time grilled. This is sea urchin. Now you can eat the guts. He said it won't kill you. But it's better to eat this. Well, that's guts too. But that's the orange uni that I know in sushi. Hot, slimy, and good. Wow, hotate! Scallop! Check that out. Hokkaido scallops are huge and tasty. It's grilled with a dash of soy sauce for flavor. I smell something tasty over there. Snow crab leg meat baked in a half shell. Honzuai korayaki, or grilled snow shell, is a real treat. Wow. Looks like it has a little Hokkaido butter in it, too. Tender leg meat grilled in butter. Yum. Let's turn to ramen. Sapporo is famous for ramen, but this one is from neighboring Asahikawa in the north. So this is a real treat because I don't have to go to Asahikawa to get Asahikawa ramen. I can do it right here. Wow! Asahikawa ramen! Asahikawa's noodles are thin, hard, and wavy. They don't disappoint. Now let's try some Sapporo ramen. It's miso-based and loaded with delicious oil to keep you blubbered up for the cold winter at hand. This stand is run by nearby Sapporo Ramen Alley, or Ganzo Sapporo Ramen Yokocho. At night, festival food areas are even more vibrant. There's so much more to try. You can really see a lot at the snow festival, and that includes Japanese mascots in all shapes and sizes. What mascot could create that kind of terror, you ask? 
It's Melon Kuma from Yubari City in Hokkaido, and he's a real terror. Bulging melon veins and bloody teeth. Even the melon kuma gifts are ferociously cute. But just how much of a terror is melon kuma? <laughs> Some mascots wave and hug, but melon kuma bites to show his love. Want to meet him? Come to Hokkaido and bring a bodyguard. Many sidewalks are icy. There are sand stations for public use. But if you want to protect yourself from falling, head to a convenience store for these. Ice cleats called Suberi Dome in Japanese. The Suberi Dome can be attached to any shoe with these two strong rubber bands. You can see the metal spikes and extra gripping on the bottom. You're sure to stay on your feet with these things attached. There's a lot to do at the festival. This ice sculpture had promotional photos for free, or larger ones for 1,000 yen. Even the Coke here looks a little different. Limited edition Sapporo Snow Festival cans. But does it taste the same? Nah, no, it's the same. There's an ice skating rink with rental skates for 500 yen. There are also rides, activities like making ice mugs, and more. No skill required. Just because drones are banned in the area doesn't mean you can't get an aerial view. There's the Sapporo TV tower for that. Built in 1957, 147 meters high, and I went to the top for a bird's eye view. From here, all of Odori Park was in view. All the way to the mountains. At night, the snow festival takes on a different vibe. I headed back for another view, climbing the steps to avoid the lines. Sapporo TV tower above the observation deck outside. So I get a perfect view of Odori Park and every single snow sculpture. It's just amazing. The snow sculptures are illuminated until 10 p.m. The festival at night comes alive. There are more people. The energy is at its peak. The clear ice and white snow become a canvas for color. The gigantic snow sculptures are the big draw, and they're all lit up. Recently, projectile mapping technology has allowed the art to become entertainment. This one highlights the new Hokkaido Shinkansen line starting this year. The ruins of St. Paul in Macau was another impressive theme. This is the Attack on Titan snow sculpture from Sapporo TV, and it is awesome, truly. Why did they choose this topic? I asked them, it's because it has a lot of impact. You see this big hand jutting out, and above the town, that hulking face, scary. The Attack on Titan snow sculpture put on a five minute show every 15 minutes or so. Those red lights in the eye and under the knuckles made the exhibit stand out even more.
So like probably of all of the snow sculptures this year, this one has the most impact by far. Nearby is Susukino, Sapporo's entertainment and restaurant district, and they also host an event for the Sapporo Snow Festival, the ice sculptures. The preparations go on up to the day of the event. The ice sculptures are quite detailed and commercially themed here. This one is from Sushi Zanmai, and that's the CEO in ice. He routinely buys the first tuna on New Year's Day, the most expensive fish in the world. I was drawn to their fish on ice exhibit. There's only one word that can sum it all up. Cool. Well, that was fun. Waiting for you up north here in Hokkaido is a lot of snow, delicious food, and an unforgettable experience. <laughs> Even that one. So if you're in Japan in February and you have three layers of clothes, definitely make the trip to Sapporo for the snow festival. You'll be glad that you did. Next time we check out Japanese purikura, or print club photo sticker machines. These machines have become really high tech and you can't leave Japan without trying one of them. Follow us on Google Plus and don't forget to subscribe.